I hope you have watched the previous video lecture on immunoglobulin gene organization. We have studied that the variable region of an immunoglobulin chain is encoded by multiple gene segments. These gene segments are first rearranged to form a functional variable region exon. In today's video lecture we will study VDJ recombination. VDJ recombination is a process by which B cells randomly assemble multiple immunoglobulin gene segments to form functional variable region exon. This process occurs during early development of lymphocytes. As we know, each immunoglobulin loci has multiple gene segments, and these can be rearranged in many possible combinations. This contributes to antibody diversity. Today we will find out how VDJ recombination takes place in light chain loci and how light chain is encoded from these immunoglobulin genes. Recall that the light chain loci is made up of V gene segments, J gene segments and C genes. It is the V and J gene segments which together encode the complete variable region of a light chain. V and J gene segments are first rearranged to form a functional variable region exon. For our illustration we will take kappa light chain locus. This is kappa chain locus. These are the V gene segments each preceded by a leader sequence. Next to this cluster of V gene segments is present the J gene segments. And this is the C gene. In the first step of VDJ recombination, gene rearrangement occurs. This gene rearrangement is known as somatic DNA recombination. As the name reflects, this DNA recombination occurs only in somatic cells. The gene segments are rearranged to form a complete and unique variable region coding sequence. It occurs during early development of each lymphocyte. It was Susumu Tanagawa, a Japanese scientist, who discovered that immunoglobulin genes can move and rearrange themselves within the genome of a differentiated cell. He was awarded Nobel Prize for Physiology or Medicine in 1987. So, in the first step, a randomly selected V gene segment is joined to a J gene segment which is also randomly selected. Let's say, second V gene segment is joined to first J gene segment. To maintain our attention on the rearranging gene segments, other gene segments are shown faded. This V J joining creates an exon that encodes the whole light chain V region. Thus, after the single gene rearrangement event, we get V J joined, rearranged DNA. In the second step, transcription occurs. This rearranged DNA is copied to pre-RNA or primary transcript RNA. In the third step, RNA splicing takes place. The introns are removed, and the variable region exon is joined to the C region exon. That is, exon formed by the V and J gene segments is joined to the C region exon. The triple A sequence in the end represents polyadenylation. And thus mRNA is produced. In the fourth and final step, translation occurs. The mRNA is decoded into light chain polypeptide by ribosomes. So, we now understand that, in immunoglobulin light chain, variable region is formed by V and J gene segments. 